I picked up this 1978 Trail 90 a few weeks ago as a companion bike to my wife's Trail 125. The bike really didn't need much work and ran as is, but I just can't leave anything alone. I've ordered parts, paint, and a vintage decal set, but all she really needed to be roadworthy was a front brake. Oh, I added a new carb. Now she's ready for her maiden voyage. Just last week, I visited my childhood home in rural Pennsylvania. It brought back so many memories. I was probably one of the last of my generation to cook over a fire, drink out of a spring, use an outhouse. In this environment of low technology and wide open spaces, I developed a love of books. I used to have a row of Hardy Boys books on that window ledge right there. I spent a lot of time reading in the loft of that barn. They lived on that milk and you got a milk cow or a goat, you don't need a whole bunch else. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of milk cow? Did she have a Jersey? Or she a... had a Guernsey. Guernsey. Always had a Guernsey. Mm -hmm. Books showed me faraway places. I travel as an adult. Books showed me adventure. I adventure as an adult. Seeds were planted for creative writing, a stint on the radio, and even this channel. I'm an old dog learning new tricks with the video medium. The desire to create coming from my youth reading books. Call it superstition. Call it positive karma. Call it paying it forward or just call it nice. I like for my first trip on each of my bikes to be a mission of goodwill. For the CT90, I've decided to donate copies of my favorite books from childhood to the little free libraries in my community. Perfect. These milk crates should be OEM equipment on CT90s. There are over 100,000 registered little free libraries in 108 countries. Each one is placed, stocked, and cared for by kind volunteers. You can find one near you by checking out the map on their website. At any of these libraries, you are welcome to take, borrow, swap, or donate books. Sid and I would love to be stewards for a little free library of our own one day, but for now, we contribute new and gently used books to other libraries around our small town. We pass a couple of them on running routes, and others are at elementary schools or in a downtown parking lot. The CT90's first trip is in the books. She performed admirably delivering these books just like her Aussie posty cousins have done over a decade ago. Welcome to the stable, little 90. I look forward to the storied adventures we will write together in the future.